New at six, the city threatened to take elderly residents to court if they didn't clean up this area behind their homes. The problem, though, it isn't their land. Can you see where maybe the optics aren't very good on that? Sure, and, and, and I, you know, I can certainly understand that, but that's not our goal. Certainly our goal is not to terrify any citizen. And wait until you hear who does own the land in question. It's tonight's Defenders investigation. Most of this is from the recent storm. Howard Chamberlain is 64. The Corita Street home he grew up in is still occupied by his 88-year-old mother. Last month, she was among a group of Corita residents who received these tersely worded notices from code compliance, telling them they had 20 days to clear this alley of brush or else risk being taken to municipal court. The issue, it's not an alley. It's a city-owned drainage ditch and has been for more than four decades, according to Chamberlain. But convincing the city of that has been a lofty endeavor. And we called the city, and the city kept saying, no, it's their responsibility, that is not a drainage ditch. If you apply that logic from code compliance, it's just a matter of time until San Antonio residents are asked to sweep the steps of council chambers. You have a code compliance officer telling them, if you don't clean up our property, we're gonna take you to court. Yeah, and that's not really the message that uh, that we, we want to portray. Development Services yeah. Director Michael Shannon says weeks after we began asking questions and following an exhaustive search from city staff, records prove that Chamberlain and the residents were telling the truth, that the city had in fact bought the land in 1976 for the grand sum of $10 per neighbor. Shannon says the notices of violation have been retracted and the ditch is now on the city's regular cleanup schedule. We don't want anyone uh, doing our work for us, of course, uh, but at the same time, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to, to, to find that research. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.